Um, or, wait a minute, wait a minute. He I said, you don't want to make me your enemy. Yeah, but yeah, but it was like, the way he worded it is the issue for some. Because he said something like... I got it. Oh, wait, wait, I got it because um, I still got it pulled up. I don't have it pulled up. But it pulled let up. me say this. She goes to pull it up. But it was like, I'm not the one that you want to be, make an enemy or. And he ran down his credentials and said how long he's been doing it. Y'all know Stephen A. Smith, he going to speak his mind. Period. Point blank. Period. So y'all just got. I mean, I would just deal with it. Like, okay. Okay, so I had. It's in the video, so I don't want to play the video on air. Yes, please don't. Please <laughs> so don't. It's, don't make sense. it's it's in the video, but huh? I, I, it's it's a long video. It's really long because so I'm, I'm not. Even you can't even watching. get right to the point of what he was saying because Stephen A. Smith is Stephen A. Smith. Yes, and if he's supposed to make one he point, took you back. He'll go. You, I think he we went for probably 15 minutes though. Yeah, they said the rant was. Minutes. It's a government minute. It's a government rant. See, yeah. It's a government minute. But he basically, you know, went on to say the sensitivity. He talked about the sensitivity of today's players regarding media reports, mm -hmm. among other things. Um, he did say that if he was so <laughs> he said if he would have came on the air Friday, it would have came out differently right. from the way it came out Monday. Yeah, because and, that, and but that's with anybody. If you have an argument with somebody, or you found they said something, mm -hmm. if you wait a couple days, you have time to, to cool think about off. it. Yeah. Think about everything that happened, and now you can approach it the right way. So I'm glad he had the weekend off and wasn't. Yeah, I, I'm okay. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad that he had. Here it off. is. But I will say this lastly. You don't want to make an enemy out of me. And I'm looking right into the camera. And I'm going to say it again. You do not want to make an enemy out of me. I'm not having it. I've done nothing wrong. And I'm not going to tolerate it. So my question is to you guys. Um, is that a threat? Is that a threat? I don't, I don't know. I, 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 state don't, of fact. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but whatever you think it is, you can give us a call. At um, 404-436-1277 And tell us what you think um, Yeah Is it a threat? I still to say the facts Cause he didn't Yeah cause I don't, I don't do threats either I make promises Right But I don't know what to <laughs> He just said you don't want to make it anyway It wasn't a threat Right you know? and like, I mean it's like a statement in the business, like, like he said he's never given he's, he's been more accurate than others And then I feel like if if it was such a Kevin Durant came back hard, so it had to be some kind of truth to it. Because if you feel definitely, if you feel that somebody lied on you, you wouldn't even you know go that far and saying, right. "Well, he don't talk to nobody I know." But you did a whole bunch of extra mm. to just say Stephen A. Smith gave some false news. I'm here to correct it, and that's all you had to do. But bringing you know saying. He don't talk to my family and nobody close to me and I don't like him. Okay. Uh, uh, that's a bit too much. The feeling is probably mutual. What's we'll Smash song? A bit too much for me. Why you lying? I'm gonna fight you. Oh yeah, see this is what I was looking for. Cause that's what he said. He said, I don't talk to Stephen A. Smith at all. Nobody in my family, my friends, they don't talk to Stephen A. Smith. So he's lying. Or make okay. open up the clip of your mother being on Stephen A. Smith show, really? <laughs> but that's his. I'm sorry. So again, you know, guys, call in with that. We have a few more moments. Let me skip over to um, domestic violence. We're we're wearing pink, of course, to um, bring awareness to breast cancer. But at this moment, we're going to speak about domestic violence, and and talking about domestic violence. Both men and women deal with or suffer from domestic abuse. Yes, domestic. Um, but oh, you just—I know you just be moving so fast. If I'm talking, you can't. So we have a question in the chat room that says, "Him saying that could no." I guess it's a statement. Yes. Him saying that could mess up a big deal, so he had to be strong with denying it. That's gonna come out anyway, go ahead, man. I mean, I could 
can't say that they would mess up the deal because that don't mean he didn't. Stephen A. Smith didn't say he got it straight from Kevin Durant's mouth. He didn't say that. So I can't say that it would it would have messed and up his deal. We know somebody from the Lakers could have called him and said that. Come on, go ahead. Who knows? Look, how many times have news or reports of somebody going somewhere been put out there that either was false or true? It's even false or true. Okay. Now let me. I'm glad you said that because we get ready on uh, Ray Rice with the domestic violence because, of course, his name comes up because the whole issue around domestic violence. I'm going to be speaking about athletes who have been charged with domestic violence, had some type of domestic situation. But I was told by someone close to Ray Rice about where he could possibly be going. I never would say where... Because it wasn't confirmed. And this was like oh, almost, I, it was almost, this was last year, right? Yeah. I think it was last year. It the incident? It was the top of the year? When you said it? Yes. No, it was, it was um, like in this round draft time. It was like this one time. This year? Yeah, when you said it, it was this year. I, I don't, I, that's terrible, I don't remember, but um, yes, but. Because your song happened last year. Right, you're right. Right, so that was what, earlier this year? Earlier this year, I was told that, you know, what team he would be going to. And I was just like, mm, okay, I'm not going to say until it's, like, confirmed. Right. But when I say that the person that told me was so close to the situation that she's related to the wife, his okay. now wife. So why would I not believe what she was saying? Right. So I was like, oh, I'm not going. I'm not going to publicly say what she said. I me. seen something on Facebook, but I just like I never even tagged you in it because I was like, uh, it's unconfirmed, it's not true. So I'm just going to hold off. I have saw so many things like, and and you have to beware of the websites that you get mm-hmm. your information from because some of them are just bogus. They just completely bogus. But I don't think it would mess up his deal. So before we get out of here. Hopefully you guys will call, but touch on domestic violence really quick. As I said, you know, preteens, teenagers, whatever, adults, men, women, boys, girls, it can domestic violence can affect anyone, anyone of any age. It seems like um, I do have a list of players. Okay. People that some of you may already know about. Some of you may be like, what? When she says she got a list, she got a list. I, uh, excuse me. Yes, I do. Because I want to be able to back up what I'm saying. Now, I remember when Chad Ocho Cinco headbutted Evelyn. What was his result? He got cut from the team. Mm-hmm. He ain't been right ever since. Hmm. He went on Dr. Phil. And it didn't help. (laughs) So, of course, Ray Rice, you know, he got suspended for two games. And this is the wording. After socking his fiance in the elevator (laughs) and knocking her unconscious. I'm not laughing at the incident. I'm laughing because they used the word socking. Who does a sock? What is a socking? I don't know. I don't want to go there. Okay. But the money team... The money team. I mean, I knew about it. I, just, I really didn't want to speak on it, but I'm gonna speak on it. You have a sheet. I mean, he doesn't have one incident. He has a rap sheet. He was charged with domestic violence. I didn't say he was convicted, but he was damn sure charged. But them females keep um, flocking to him too. Right, but it is what it is. If it ain't about the money, it's money. Like I can't see. Otherwise, I'm not. And see, that's the thing. Like, I've never been materialistic. Right. So even though he has money, like, it so. Right. You're going to beat me next? Hop up. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, Mike Tyson, of course, when, you know, Robin Givens accused him of beating her in their marriage. Tanya Harding, female. Yes. yes. She was convicted of domestic violence for beating her husband. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. That was after the knee thing. And of course, you know. And she cried. Like OJ again. Killed. I'm sorry. OJ, of course, 
was accused of domestic violence shortly before the whole murder thing happened. He, I'm gonna shut up. So, because I was watching, and it's funny that you said that because we were watching something on the uh, Crime Files, and they showed video of him in the interrogation room. Boy, that man was a slick talker. Man, she's listen. the guy said, and you put your hands around Nicole's neck. He said, No, I didn't touch her neck. I might have tapped her neck, but I ain't, I ain't strangled her. <laughs> he said, I'm, I might have put my, might have put my fingers on it, but I didn't put my hands on it. Mm. He was slick with it. So Tito Ortiz, y'all know what that is? Yeah, he's a baseball. No, up. Uh. Sorry. I was getting him with, <laughs> with um, the other guy. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, and y'all see these are different sports. Okay. Um, he was accused of domestic violence for his attack on his wife, Jenna Jameson. <gasps> you fought Jenna Jameson? No, you didn't fight me. Probably just. Such a she thing. need her face for her. That's how she got her. Like, that's the money shot. He need his hand. Well, she need her face. He, I'm just saying, like, he didn't care about nothing. Huh? Messing you know, once mind. you're, like, when you're a fighter, you're not supposed to fight at all. It's illegal. Right? Yeah. So, he didn't care. He said, what you say to me? You sleeping with my brother? No, I'm joking. I <laughs> she is not what happened. I was just making a she joke. probably did. Listen. Her name is she Jenna Jameson. That. I mean, you can't put a pass on. Don't get mad, Tito. Don't get mad. Okay, so this young man allegedly choked his girlfriend at one point, LaMichael James. And then we also have somebody from Schittsburg, Cedric Wilson. He allegedly punched his girlfriend in the face. Now, I'm not going to continue to go down that list, but that is enough athletes that have been charged with domestic violence like, that's crazy and just to say that's athletes just imagine how many people who are not athletes that deal with domestic violence um wow now for some they may not even know what <laughs> domestic violence really is so let's just break it down just a little bit Domestic violence is a pattern of behavior used to establish power and control over another person through fear, intimidation, often including the threat of or use of violence. Okay. So basically you cannot tell, I can't tell my husband, if you don't go to work, I'm going to slap you. That's domestic violence. It's the fear, if I put the fear in him. Even well, let me say this. Her husband ain't worried about her saying that <laughs> shit. <laughs> she just gonna be not. saying it. She just, just gonna, gonna be like, me. yeah, all right, I'm home today. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be like, okay. <laughs> what you wanna eat? But that that is, you know, that happens sometimes. Um, like I said, it's it can go either way. Um, yeah, I'm just, I don't wanna tell nobody's situation. I do have um, a friend or two that I believe are in those type of situations. And I just pray for them to get out of those situations. Because a lot of times women or men in those situations, they don't want to hear what you have to say. Uh, well, it's you- not clicking. They just be like, yeah, he loves me. She loves me. You know. Can I go with my eye story? Uh, sure. So, I was a victim of domestic violence um, with my other children. You don't have to say all yeah, that. Okay. So, and I thought this. I thought the same thing when it first happened. I was like, I was more shocked than anything else. And it it started over something that was really crazy, and it just kind of came out of nowhere. And um, I thought my father was gonna come and wring his neck, like just go at him. I was like, yeah, I'm co- my father coming up here. You done. Oh, my goodness. My father did not do anything. And now when I got older, I understood why. Why go after this person that you're going to be back with the next day, the next week, the next month? And 
it only didn't happen just once. It happened probably about two or three more times. Mm. Um, the last straw was when we weren't even together, but we shared children. And he did it with them in front of me and on my lap. That was just like, it's it. Um, I think the first that time when it happened is when I did go put that um, go get the exporte and everything, and it took me years to get over that. It took me years to get over the fact, besides on piled on top of other stuff that he had done to not done to me or we had went through the relationship. I was young. I was I was young. I, I don't even think I was twenty one yet um, wow. when we ended our relationship because I had my first child when I was 15. So this was like a span of four years or so. Um, it took me years to get over it. And that Tyler Perry movie where he said that you have to deal with it and you got to let it go because if not, it will haunt you forever. I finally had to let go and say, you know what? What's done is done. And I also look at the situation of how I'm doing right now and how he's doing. You may have hurt me then, but you're dealing with it now. So I encourage anybody, if you're going through it, don't think because they did it once that he won't do it again. Because right. if they did it once, more than likely they're going to do it again. Um, I'm not saying that you had to leave the situation, but make sure you know all your options. That there is a way out. And rem it was one thing I had to remember. I don't want what happened to me to happen to any of my children. Right. I wouldn't be able to tell them, oh, no, you stay. Because, you know, there are plenty of times where we hear or we've seen in movies where you're supposed to stay with the guy because, or you're supposed to stay with that female because of the status that they're in, mm. the money that they make, the clout that they carry. I want you to know all your options and, and know that eventually something's going to happen to them and you're going to rise above it it's just i don't want i don't want to have to tell my daughters to no just stay there you, you're going to be okay or you should never have to no say that at any point right but let me let me give the 1-800 number it's a hotline number and if you're not sure if you're going through a domestic violence situation relationship whatever the case may be Call this number, have that conversation, and maybe they can direct you in the right path. The number is 1-800-621-HOPE. So that's 1-800-621-4673. So there's also a rape and sexual assault hotline. And that number, because that happens in a domestic violence, violence situation, yeah. Um, not sure if this is for the whole like DMV or because this is not a national number. The number that, that is given is 212 227 3000. And I'm sure if you call that number, if they're not in your area, they can transfer you to one that is. So, those are two numbers you can get you some help at. Um, this was one of the yeah, my allergies. I'm not this is my allergies. Yeah, allergies. Uh, Poor Nicole. So we we we're gonna wrap this up. I do, and, and let me tell you guys this. I do see your comments. I asked you to go. I do see your comments though. Um, I'm not ignoring them. I wanted to make sure we did talk about domestic violence um, every Tuesday for the remainder of this month. Um, we're gonna discuss either domestic violence or breast cancer, and how important it is, ladies, to give yourself a breast exam a self breast exam and I'm thinking of having someone here to show you guys how to do it because some of you I know do not do it you like to say oh well I'm not old enough let That's me tell matter. you um, Shay Sharp went to the same high school I went to and she found out when she was 26 that she had breast cancer so um, I don't know what you mean when you say you're not old enough. I don't know what that means. So definitely her story has touched me, not only because we went to the same high school, but her age and how it happened. Like, come on. So 
Y'all get on top of that, your monthly Save your exams. Um, it's self exams. Mm-hmm. But if you want your mates, yeah, yeah, your, I was gonna say you your can, cuddle buddy, you can, you can have your, your cuddle, fling, your, your side whoever, piece, whatever. As as, as Just, I as I say, whether he's yours, borrowed, rented, or stolen, have him check the tatas. <laughs> They, they just need it, you know. We trying to save the boobies. Save I definitely want to save mine. I don't want no trouble. I don't need um, I didn't like mine when I was younger because guys used to pick with me. I didn't understand that. <laughs> but they used I to didn't pick have with me them and call when I was me, younger. Um, big titty pebbles, and I didn't understand uh, it. I didn't have them. I didn't have them after I had kids. And I love them now. I've always. I did. <laughs> I've always. First of all, I was the late bloomer of the family. Oh, poor you. Yeah. Poor so. You. I didn't have. It runs in my family. It's just ridiculous. I didn't have boobs. I didn't have a butt. I didn't have any weight, really. I used to be a skinny mini until after I had my children. Well, okay. Um, what I will say is this <laughs> you guys, um, just make sure you do those exams. They're, they're very important. Along with being tested and examined for ovarian cancer, um, that's very important. My grandmother. Suffered from ovarian cancer, so that um, touches me as well. Um, so we go ahead. I had saved some facts. So it says one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. So one in eight. And whose lifetime? In their lifetime, in women's lifetime. Okay. Okay. So, um, it's just the way that that is worded. It's like throwing me off. Because I'm not going to go there. Just one in eight women, as she said, are going to be diagnosed. You can say all the word there. Because that just don't seem right to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, passion parties. I don't know. <laughs> yes, I saw passion parties on the bottom of the head. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know you say you wasn't gonna talk on my show, but do that sound like off to you? Like in their life, they're gonna be diagnosed. <laughs> well, I, I I will um shoot an email to. Uh, right now, it, just mean one it says one in eight women will be diagnosed. Will be diagnosed, will be diagnosed, will be diagnosed with the, breast cancer in and, their. I'm just so. The eight women's lifetimes, like if you pick ten women, <laughs> one of you ladies will be, you know, like you know, I say like a rape happens like every twenty seconds or whatever the right. numbers are, just like that. Not like in your life, like between now and the end of President Obama's presidency, <laughs> one of eight women. And what's the time frame? It doesn't increase as the clothes get smaller. It's the jeans get tighter. <laughs> Y'all see how they coming for me. All I was trying to do is spend some No, I'm not coming for you. I'm, it's passion parties I'm coming for. Uh, I'm going to email Joanne and tell her to um, check this. Joanne, break. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Joanne, I'm just saying. No, I'm joking. All right. Sorry, Joanne. It just didn't. Okay. So, next, next week will be more. Matter of fact, no. On Thursday, we'll do more. We'll do breast cancer on Thursday. And that way we can go in a little more and talk about, you know, saving the boobies, save the ties, ties, whatever campaign y'all like to say. Um, I'm just all about cancer. So, you know, supporting in any way I can. And I will be doing, I will, I'll wait till next Tuesday to announce the fundraiser that I'm doing. But I will tell you this. I don't particularly like to donate to the big organizations because their money their money that you donate it is divvied up in so many different ways it'll be money towards the fundraising it's a small portion that goes towards actually finding a cure because it's like when i look at the breakdown of other situations there's money to go towards the research Mm -hmm. and then there's money to go towards um, workshops for the people who actually have the illness so that they can learn more about it i don't have a problem with that but it's some of those other things that they list so when you when you decide to donate to a cause i research do your research look into the cause but the the organization that women love sports 2 will be donating to is 
Shay Sharp Pink Wishes is where we're gonna donate to. That's where all of all of all of the proceeds will go. Yes, not a portion. <laughs> yes, not not a portion, but all. So well, that's what we're gonna be doing. Nikki at night is doing something. Nikki at night needs to stop caressing. I'm sorry. Mic. Yes, because it sends feedback. Um, I'm sorry. It's just so. <laughs> I'm just so passionate. All right. So. About <laughs> speaking into a mic. It's shaped like a Mario okay, way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, and I know me and Papa talked as well of doing organization. I didn't want to do the American Cancer Society, which I had done in previous years. So I did sit down as well and did research. And what I explained to Papa was. Breast cancer, yes, is very important, but I support all cancer, so I didn't want to just focus on like Susan B. Coleman, which Passion Party does. So, um, you are aware that this is. I know. So, um, <laughs> for those who know about Nikki at night, go onto her page um, because I will be doing 25% of my monthly profits will be going to the Kimmel Cancer Center at John Hopkins. Okay. So just saying, she we we the women love sports too has one, and then Nikki and Knight has one. I, I'm just trying to spread the love. Okay, so um, if you're into toys, if you're not into toys, um, keep your eyes and ears open to my social media. If you follow me, if you wish to follow me, it is um, women love sports too on Instagram and I think I've said more than I don't know LUV number two um, on Facebook I love them dearly it's women love sports T-O-O and on Twitter it's underscore women love sports too I believe um, also I will be I will have a link available on my website women love sports two dot com of course, the number two. To, you know, all the information as it relates to the breast cancer fundraiser. And as far as domestic violence, I also have something for that. Um, I haven't even told Nikki about this, but we will be visiting um, the House of Ruth. So okay. um, I was contacted, which kind of surprised me, but I was contacted. And that's what we're going to do. We're gonna, we're gonna, but okay. I'll give... I'll give you guys as well as you know everybody the same information. So, do you have anything um, coming up? Wait a minute, really quick before I even do that because there was some people like um, asking about the happy hour. I want to make sure I have all the details correct. Um, I see that's a lot of um, comments, and it originally came from the chat room. So, with that being said, again. Where are we again? We're at Elite Lounge. Elite Lounge, which is not too far from Horseshoe Casino. Yes, they're, they're, they're neighbors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me say that. They are neighbors. And the address is, what did I say it was? 11. Up, oh, I, I got you. I didn't even feel like pulling it out. I got you. But it's, North, it's not. It's 1571 Ridgely Street, I know it was Baltimore, Maryland, 21230. The happy hour starts at 5. Party starts at eight. Um, Three dollars. I don't know about the party, but I want to see football, so I'll be there for all of that. <laughs> I'm gonna watch, you know, Three Thursday night bills. football. What, what so I, I meant to ask you a question. Do you know what the six dollar LITs are? No. Oh, okay. I guess we'll figure that out on Thursday. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna have an LIT. I don't know what it is, but I was asked to host. I'm there. <laughs> okay, so as she stated, three dollars, three dollar beers and. I'm going to tell y'all, T for 12, top shelf. You can get you one, get me one, there's your $12. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a light buffet here. And, yeah. And us. That's it. Um, we're going to be there, bottom line. So come on out. Talk sports with us. Talk life with us because, of course, as you can see, we talk about everything. Yes. On this here. Sports show. I don't know about other people, but and just to let y'all know, it's casual dress because I know a lot of people ask about. Oh dress yes, sports. and it's free. It's the free. entry is free. Casual dress, so you don't gotta put your slippery earls on, guys. Oh no, we don't have to do like we used to do in the house. Uh, 
Not you used to wear slippery on to Melbourne? No, I didn't. But did they you did. hear that? She used to wear slippery on I didn't. Them. They did. I she said, pops. like, we did. I wore <laughs> shoes. Um, okay. But it's. Uh, yeah, I thought I had a dress. problem with getting into places because. Me neither. I already knew how I was going to go out, so. Well, me neither. Fresh dress <laughs> like a million bucks. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, y'all. Let me stop. <laughs> You would think it was something that this already uh, on fire. I don't know what she drank before she got here. I, like yeah, I only like Patron. Oh, okay. It's I might even tone it down. Like, for example, Thursday, I'll do Malibu and pineapple, something soft. Not too much, but I will take a shot of Patron. <laughs> yeah, you know me. You know, I, I can't help it. Mm. So, I want to thank everybody that called in. With your thoughts. I, <laughs> I knew y'all were going to do it. I did. You were going to do it. Look at her. She's terrible. She's terrible. Mm, um, mm, mm. I, I, I do appreciate your comments. I'll reply to your comments on there in a second. But, again, follow me on social media. Follow Nikki. Um, tiptoe over to Women Loves Sports number two. Dot com as well. All information concerning the fundraisers for... Domestic violence and cancer will be there. Um, is that all? You, do you have anything you want to add? No, because it's Nikki at night business, so I got to remember this is women got sweats too. And what Jesus? I y- mean, if I can, I will. If I can, I will. Y'all, y'all say a prayer for Nikki <laughs> when we get off air. Look at her caressing her mic one more time. I'm sorry. She um, loves that mic, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. So, I'm going to take it home tonight. I'm a cake, I'm missing Lord the mic. Mercy. That, that's our other job, y'all. She's not an escort, though. Cause I don't want them to think that. Cause no, we, no, no. Nikki and Knight is adult so, products, as she, so. as you heard, passion parties. But if you tiptoe yes, over, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> passion, <laughs> over. passion parties does not, in any way, shape, or form, sponsor well, this Nikki episode is. of Women Love Sports too. So we will not be doing that, Nikki. Um, she trying to be slick, y'all. She she be trying to be slick. <laughs> Nikki and Nate is a sponsor. Where? I'm, I'm, I'm coming. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yes, let's get that in order. <laughs> she plays too much. She plays entirely too much. But I want to thank everyone for tuning in. We enjoy all interaction, social media, but we want to hear your voice. Okay. Dave, I know you're watching you I know because you, when Dave. we log off and I post a video, y'all say something. And when we like Nikki said, I never really paid attention, but she said when we log off, they gonna say something. Mm-hmm. And y'all did, mm-hmm. don't they? Mm-hmm. It's okay though. I'm ignoring. We still love y'all. I ain't answering tonight. She gonna answer y'all. No, no. So with that being said, <laughs> okay, I want to say until next time. Next to Thursday. Thursday. But <laughs> I'm going to leave it at what we normally say because I want to keep it strictly. Okay. Let's go on the planet. So <laughs> until next time, peace.